<clears throat> and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to uh, SDA Sermons. All right, I'm sorry that we are later today because I got two problems. One, I got a throat problem. <clears throat> I got a hiccup, a terrible throat problem. I'm really sorry for it that is. delay. And then later I got a... Uh, later I had what I got a... Goes to the bathroom, wasting a lot of time. Sorry about that, everybody, but finally we got time to come on here. Uh, today we are speaking about. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a lot of air here because my stomach is not really working well today. Kind of. Today we are talking about exercise and what is the proper kind of exercise. Hello. Oops. All right, so what is the proper kind of exercise that we will be speaking about today? Now, walking is the best exercise, but just remember you must have temperance. We will speak about that later in our seminar. Not this session, but... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. And a few more coming sessions to go. We will cover about that. But... um. So let's be not wasting any time. Let's get started. So, what kind of exercise is good? Uh, so I already said it's walking. So walking. Now don't overdo walking, but because walking, if you walk too much, your leg will ache. I uh, actually, uh, my leg is already aching. Not yeah, because this morning I re I went for a jog, and then I hurt my own hand. I will show you this in a minute. All right, so you see that, uh, you see that little red mark over there? Yeah. Um, actually, I hurt my hand. I was playing tennis. Uh, I was exercising. But the really, I think, I, I guess I was doing the wrong kind of exercise. I was playing tennis this morning, and when I was hitting the ball, I was wondering what kind of pain is on my hand, and I thought it was just a uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Pain that you always think you have, but when you look at it, you have, there's nothing there. So I said, probably, I thought probably it was one kind of those pains. <clears throat> but then later, I, after a while, I decided to look, what's that small hump over there? I was like, oh, this, uh, and then probably that's just nothing. Probably it's my eye tricks because my eye could trip me a lot. <laughs> and later on, when, uh, I was, when uh, my dad was picking up the balls, I was looking at my hand, I decided to look at my hand. I got the racket and looked at my hand, and I looked at my hand, and then, how come there's a little red spot over there, and it said there was a blister on my hands, and I said, you know what, I can't play anymore, for whatever reason that it got. So, um, tennis is the wrong kind of exercise if you do it overly, if you overdo it. But if you do it in moderation a little bit, like if you play like 10, 15, then probably it will be better. Because my hands are not so used to much exercise before. Because I'm, I could say I'm a city boy because I was born, raised in the city. I never had much really tennis playing before. Of course, I had tennis. It's just hitting at the wall. But that's not, that's not really anything compared to hitting over the net and the other players smacking the back. So, no, I'm, I was raised as a city boy and I don't really get much exercise. And now I live in a bigger house. And I used to live in an apartment before and I can tell you, that apartment compared to this house, oh boy, my headphones are pulling me. That apartment compared to this house, it's like a tiny cage. I can tell you what, it's almost like a cage. I can tell you, it's almost true. Now, if you want to get bigger muscles, exercise is important because exercise keeps your body. Now, you must have exercise because, especially, no, to before, like, uh, you you must always exercise uh, when you eat. You must after eating, you must always go. Must always walk around. Uh, don't try. Uh, don't run. Don't jump because uh, it's not good for you if you jump after eating. 
because they say appendix, the rise could jump into the appendix or whatever. I don't know what whether that's true. Some people say it's true, some don't. Some say it's not. So after eating, you must always go for a walk to get your food digested, especially before bed. You must always go for a walk. You might not outside place if you unless you want to come back with mosquito bites all over. Just walk around in your living room if you have a big living room, or not just circle your house a hundred times and you will be enough. So just take a walk after eating, of course, in your home, and then you, after eating, the, the food will get digested, and then you can have a better good night's sleep. And hold on one second, YouTube, I need a mic. I know. I need a mic. I don't really sound good. I don't have enough mic yet. <laughs> Well, on YouTube, I'm getting my desktop mic. It's the best mic I ever had. Come on, stop being clumsy, mic. All right, here back I come. <clears throat> I'm gonna plug in my desktop mic. My desktop mic's a very good mic. It really makes audio sound sound clear, sounds good. Yeah, it sounds much better now, doesn't it? Hope so. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> exercise. If you want to get strong muscles, head over for some exercise. <clears throat> well, if you have a dog, it's a very good thing to get exercise because you throw the frisbee, the dog will run to you and you run away from the dog, you know. <clears throat> so, exercise. Everybody must have exercise. If you actually, if you, if you are a very strong young man who has big muscles and everything, sitting on a chair, nothing doesn't move a muscle except his eyes. Somebody just goes there to feed him, to sit down in the chair and sleeps, and sit down in the chair and sleeps. Well, if he's good, just the right size and everything. Well, he's eating and sleeping and eating and sleeping. He'll get some. He'll put on some weight and get kind of have a size. And he and when he tries and after probably a few weeks or a month or something, if he tries to walk again, he cannot walk anymore. But before that, he used to be the best jogger in town. See, that's why you must use those muscles because just like <clears throat> Jesus told a Jesus told a parable of the guy who had talents. He had the one who had 10 talents. He used it and he got multiplied to 20. And the guy who got five, he used it, he multiplied to 10. But the guy who got one, he thought if he used only one, all his talents will be used up. So he buried it under the ground. He buried it under the ground. What happened? He got thrown out. And his, and the Bible says his portion was being divided by the ship, by the rest of the other ship. So if that same with our muscles, and we just like keep our muscles under the chair, you know what that means? Like if you have a chair like I do, like I brought my chair for over for Malaysia. You know what kind of chairs I mean? Those chairs, the bulky big chairs with those. Arms that you can lay back and down. Uh, I hope you know what I mean. So, uh, chairs. So, you know, that those chairs. And then you tuck your legs under the chair. Are you burying it in the soil? Yeah, don't try that, please. Don't try that. Uh, but please don't try that because... Just don't try it, okay? Because your legs, it won't be a good idea to try it. So, um, one second, everybody. Like, more, something that looks a bit like a beach chair. Uh, something that looks a lot like a beach chair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Yellow Cord Outdoor Case. So, it's like a long, like a C-H-A-I-S-E. Uh, you know, but mine's red, yellow, and blue. Look, if you put your, i show you what I mean, okay? 
Mm, all right, hold on a second, everybody. So, you see, there's kind of chairs in here, and this kind of chairs you could move back and forth, back and forth. And not, not a rocking chair. Those chairs you put those arms backwards, and you then the chair falls down. All right, so if you take that thing, little thing, like rest out, and you put your legs underneath the rest, and you just sit there and do nothing, just staring at the TV. After a while, your brains will stop working properly. And after a while, your muscles will stop working properly. Everything that you don't use for a while, look at what happens if you don't use the battery. That's why I'm, I'm always trying to use stuff that has battery in it so that the battery doesn't leak. Last time I had a, a lavalier microphone, I thought it would work properly, but in the middle of the seminar, it didn't work at all. And that was an, I, I was trying to help seminar last time, and, I, and I'm sorry that I didn't even finish it up. Because like that, I got so busy with some other stuff and I wouldn't finish it up. But this time, I will finish it up. When I say I will, I will. So, and those, those like a battery. Um, last time my battery, you know those, you know those headphones you have, you must have this, this, there's something called a transmitter and a receiver. If you know what that means, I think the transmitter, you pluck the headphones, the end of the audio in, and then it connects somehow connects to the Wi-Fi or to the whatever radiation and then it connects to the those receivers and the receivers you plug into like a, a loudspeaker and a, what kind of works then that okay that receiver I didn't use it for a while and the battery ran out so just like exercise and the proper muscles if you don't use your muscles the muscles will kind of go out and if you don't exercise for a long time and suddenly you go and run 20 miles by the time you come back, you can't even move a muscle. Me, it's kind of like that, but I didn't go 20. I, I don't exercise much because I live in a city. I used to live in a city, and then I have, I cannot, I don't really go out too much. But this morning was a different story. That's why now my leg is painful, my hands are painful. What else is going to be painful? Next time my head is going to be painful too. <laughs> And that's tomorrow when the basketball drops on me. Anyway, so that's why I like my leg. Now my leg is aching me, and I can't really stand with the without a table in front of me for this long. I got a hole in the table once in a while to really support. My legs are very weak now because because it's eight o'clock at night, and also because that I didn't really exercise much, and it's just just today and yesterday. Yes, yesterday I was just jogging back home like half a mile, and my legs were suddenly, like, whoa, what's that heavy half a mile on me? And today also I try to, I really try to get on my muscle something, and I don't start everybody. It's going to ache my legs until tomorrow. All right, so... Now, the best exercise you can ever benefit from is country exercise. When, just imagine yourself on the rolling hills of Switzerland near the Alps. Uh, having a few cows outside, having a good border collie dog, and a few neighbors a few acres away. You're on home by yourself. Of course, neighbors nearby. You go out at 5 o'clock in the morning and take a walk. Now that sounds very nice, doesn't it? So country exercise is very good. It's the best of exercise you can get. That's, a, that's the way how I like to put it. Uh, it's the exercise you can get for the best. Because in the, in the country, you have fresh air. And if you notice what time Jesus woke up. Now Jesus woke up, like, before any man woke up, probably like 4 o'clock. Maybe, I'm not sure, because the Bible doesn't tell. So let's say around 4 o'clock. And he went into the Garden of Gethsemane. Well, I could show you pictures. Garden of Gethsemane. Ooh. It's still there. Oh, boy. Huh? I have trouble trying to pronounce this word. Gethsemane. If you look at the pictures of Gethsemane. Now... So I'll show you in one moment. 
it's what you could call kind of country. I will show you pictures of it. It's actually like a very nice place. Guardian of Gethsemane. So hold on, everybody. All right, so. Um, you look here. Look at the Garden of Gethsemane. It's like kind of like a country. If you look, the trees are perfectly nice. And Jesus knelt to talk with the Heavenly Father. So that's why we should be out in the country. And it's best to do our devotions outdoors where the birds are, where we can have deep breath of fresh air. Oh, if I, if I keep talking, I will never ever finish talking. All right, so let's be good, baby. Better end. See you tomorrow at our 40. What episode? 40. <coughs> oh, boy. On Earth, could I lose my episode count? Let me just search up. To, I think tomorrow sounds like we will be doing our, let's guess, 47th episode. Uh, 46. Okay. Meet us tomorrow at our 46th episode as we go on live. That's person sound of Sherman's episode 45. This is going to be very special because we have two uh, events going on. We have number one, we have um, we have the live Vespers and Sample Sermons. Vespers, tomorrow's Vespers. And then number two, tomorrow, we also have a seminar day three. And tomorrow we'll be talking about what we need. Every thing everybody needs to survive. Well, oops, not air, but tomorrow we'll be talking about water. Since speaking of water, let me take a sip. Ah. Uh. Sounds like what are you need for preaching? <laughs> All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification and smash that like button. See you tomorrow at our forty fifth, forty what, forty oh, sixth episode, and <laughs> so we're getting to fifty, and we'll probably we have something more special on the fiftieth. But well, we'll we'll do, we'll do, we'll do when we go when they get to the fifties. All right. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. God bless you, and subscribe. Subscribe, and hit the bell notification, and smash the like button. And God bless you. See you again.